What up guys, the Fighting Therapist here, and for today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when gyms open up. Now before we jump into the video guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come out. So I filmed this video about a couple days ago, I'd say about two days ago when I was at my girlfriend's house and it was part of J2P but I thought I would make it its own video because it does have a lot of importance to it and gyms are starting to open up now and I just kind of wanted to give you guys an introduction of why the video kind of was made because it wasn't one, kind of just was talking just like that. So now you know what the video is about, I'm going to jump right into it so just sit back, relax, and check out what I gotta say. Beautiful Monday, no rain, we got coffee. Today's another week in J2P, um, vlog series continues. And actually what's really interesting about this week is that coronavirus, so we just went through it, right, for the past three and a half, four months, and um, gyms are trying to open up. Now when it comes to jujitsu gyms, combat gyms, since we're still competing, there's still jujitsu tournaments, there's still jujitsu, uh, jujitsu, events right happening on UFC pass uh, that you guys can go check out fighting in the UFC you're allowed to train it's part of your job that sport is still going on so you are allowed to do that um, when it comes to jiu-jitsu it's the same thing you're getting paid to compete it's shows are still going on so you're allowed to train when it comes to weights however a lot of people haven't been doing a lot um, me you guys have seen what we've been playing around with uh, more kettlebell stuff more uh, more bands more body weight work right going at like 30 rm sometimes 50 just playing around with that and a big note that i want to actually start this week off for you guys is to actually understand how you should actually go back into training what you should be doing what are the let's say protocols you guys should follow when you're actually going to go train you should never go in the gym right away and go straight for you know what you were doing in the past right? take into account that you haven't been doing it for about three to four months so your body needs to slowly adapt to it now that doesn't mean that you don't have to go to the gym four times a week or three times or six times if you guys were doing that before it's just be careful with the load that you guys, that you guys are actually going to be providing for yourself when it comes to the weight training so what i like to do especially when we go back to weights is kind of do like a 60 70 and 80 or 85 kind of like ramp up so if you're to design your own program right design the program that you've designed account that you want to do it for about six to eight weeks that's how much most plans go for or even a four week block right the plan depending on what mesocycle you want to follow but then also add in about two to three weeks of just kind of going back into training so I'll give you guys an example, if you guys are doing a strength workout and we're doing squat, deadlift, bench, overhead press, stuff like that. Um, I deadlifted before the coronavirus started, I was at like 465 for 3 reps. Now no way am I going to do that on the first week back and no way am I going to do that on the second week back and no way am I going to do that on the third week back yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 60% what I thought I could and I'm gonna put even a little less because you know you did lose some strength but you will gain it back so I'll put maybe 250 let's say I'm just throwing a number out there 250 right now in my head sounds like sounds fair and I'll put 250 on the bar and I'll do that for the first week even though I feel like I have about four or five reps left in the reserve it's fine that's what I'm gonna do next time I do that deadlift on the next week or even that week I'm gonna go just a little bit heavier. So maybe I'll put 275, right? 300, nice and gradual. I'm never trying to go to that stimulus that's gonna completely fatigue me, completely be hard, where I'm breaking technique, where I'm loading the body more than it can handle because it hasn't been doing it for about four months. So, you know, gradually increase there. On the next week, then we'll go to about 80, 85%, maybe 82.5, 83%. And then the week after, you guys start your program. So. I would that would be a very nice gradual increase to not allow yourself to get injured in the long run right because it might not happen now you might go in the gym you might pop you know two and a half plates because that's what you're doing before and you're like oh i feel good i feel great a couple weeks down the line you're going to start getting some injuries and that's what we don't want right the gyms are finally opening up so let's design a program that we can gradually go back give our body the stimulus that it was you know, like that it was gaining before from the weights the load right getting you don't want to just put imagine squat we're just talking about deadlift imagine loading your back up again 
what you did before. You don't want to do that. Gradually increase it and you're good to go. That'll be my tip just for strength training, for resistance training. When it comes to combat athletes, same principle applies. You know, we've been doing it nonstop, but if you haven't and you legit been doing nothing, the same principle applies, whether it's a run, whether it's a swim, whether it's anything like that. Gradually increase your exposure to the activity that you were doing before. So running, swimming, anything like that. If you were running six times a week before, do two weeks, do two runs a week, and then do that for about two weeks. And maybe add a run. And then instead of adding a run on the fourth week, you'll add kilometers to your run, right? Gradually increase that. Same with swim, same with bike, same with everything else. That's it. It's Monday's tip, even though I usually do tip two days. Tip Tuesdays. Tip two days. Tip Tuesday. Tips Tuesdays. Tuesday tips. Tip Tuesdays. Now we're Monday. So I have coffee, I'll work. See you guys later.